Hey there everybody, Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays Foundation. Now, I have been informed that apparently I have these backwards, which should have been obvious if I had eyes, but yeah, you can see that this is this is like the ramp, like the entrance ramp that every other building has, and that this over here is supposed to be the dock. So, whoops. Apparently if I turn them around, they should actually have fishing boats. I want to test that theory. So I'm going to go ahead and actually put a fisher's hut over here facing the correct way. And see how that works out. We'll just do one for now, though. Maybe it'll look good. We have a little bit of an area down here for some good old residential. We have a little market down here. People should be willing to move down here eventually. Like quite soon, I'm hoping. We got some farming started. As you can see, I haven't even pulled up my resources. Uh, someone wants bread. You know, I'm actually low on bread. That is somewhere where we are having a problem. So we're going to have to work on that. How do you work on bread? Well, I'll tell you something right now, buddy. You uh, hire some bakers. So let's get on that. Is this being de developed right now? No, it is not. It is not pause. Okay, yeah. Let's let some more stuff go into there. But I think, yeah, we're going to double up our bread production here. Which I think means it's time to allow more immigration. And get some more farms. So, here's the plan. We're going to go nuts here. You'll, you'll love it, probably. We're going to start with a couple more wheat farms. That's right, not just one, but, like, a couple. One. Two farmhouses. Alright. Now, I think we're good on bakeries. Uh, or, not on bakeries, on mills. Because if you look, we got a lot of flour. So, we're going to stick with two mills for now. And see how that works out for us. But we are going to increase our bakery count. So we got one coming in over here. And we got a... Yeah, we got a... Well over there as well. Ho oh, ho! Anyway. And I'm thinking we're gonna, we're gonna put another bakery over here too. I'm gonna put a bakery here and probably actually change my mind on that whole windmill thing. And put a windmill right here as well. And with those, I'm thinking it's also going to be prudent to have a, a storehouse over here. So we're going to do a lot of a lot of construction over here on this side of the world. Our villagers are back from mission, which means another thousand gold is going to be coming into our pockets. It's going to be great. We're going to want to keep an eye on our budget. So I'm going to go ahead and slap that down this way. Looks like a new week had just begun. Yeah, we're on day two of week 116. Dude, your house is uh right there on the corner of the land. You're really kind of pushing it there. Not that I'm complaining, I guess. Just observing. Anyway, you can see where the main part of our of our construction is right now. I mean, my house is over here next to the rustic church. But we might move it eventually over to where this big one is. Then again, I kind of wanted to move it over here as well. We'll see. Okay, we've sent five soldiers to city name. Some more wine, which is always a good thing for us. And a free territory if and we want to go ahead and claim it eventually. Woodcutters camps are full of wood. Well, we got no use for wood there. And we seem to be full of lumber as well. Ugh. I mean, that's a good thing, right? It's a good problem to have. Too much wood. We could make a couple more storehouses for lumber, but I don't know if that's necessary. Maybe what that means is that we need to up our charcoal production. Because right now... Nice average house. Uh, right now we have a blacksmith making tools, but we could have more blacksmiths making more tools if and we had more coal. So... How about we think about that? 
another cold place here. Yeah. That might work out. We have four villagers right now. Two more are coming, it looks like. As far as jobs, well, the keeps need jobs, but other otherwise, we're waiting for stuff to get built. Normal good times. We have 69 clothing. Well, we did. For a second there, it was quite nice. Let's pause this for now. Again. The church is going to get done soon. Don't worry. I think it'll be done by the next couple of episodes. I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. All right, but I want these guys working down here. Look, someone's going to build a house down here, finally. Perfect. Get a couple people living down here. Have them work these jobs over here. It'll be great. It'll actually be perfect. Still need to work on getting 40... 40 here for the weaponsmith, I should just say. So I'm thinking I might do that with another another fortification. Maybe put one over here. Have it kind of blocked off. It's a possibility. You never know. And now we got people who need to travel a little bit to get from place to place. That's okay, though. They can do it. So I got some more housing going on over here. Bakery starting to get done, which is fantastic. Nice place for a house right there, right on the thoroughfare. Can you even blame them? So these guys go to this market, which seems to have plenty of business. How are we doing on fish? Ten fish. We could definitely use more. And this market is serving all of these people. Let's check, take a look at these markets here. So our original market, our like main market, our big market, and then our little offshoot market. So the offshoot one's actually doing pretty good. Definitely selling a decent amount of fish. Of course, the other two are able to sell both clothing and food. So we might need to get some clothing over here to sell. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get a good stall. Not a luxury good stall. They don't need everything. You know, just some regular goods. You can always just put it right here. Give it a nice blue tent. There you go. Yeah, just put it up there. More housing getting done. I'm guessing that's mostly over here. God, we got a lot of houses over here all of a sudden. Everybody wants to live near the church. Holy cow. Now, you see, this is why video games have procedurally generated housing. Because I would not do this. I would not have houses, like, cramped around in that kind of way. Over here, they actually look kind of okay. Especially since when they're upgraded to this kind of house, they look pretty nice. But over here, this is just a mess. These two houses are way too close to each other. Like, way too close. Time since last tax collect. 301 days. Well, how do you fix that? 393 days. Yo, tax collector. How often do you collect taxes? Tax collector. I am preparing to work. Alright. So you went in there, and you collected their taxes. You went in there, you collected their taxes. Okay. So we need more tax collectors. I'm sure people will be thrilled by that. Gotcha. We've learned the secrets. All right, we have a lot more employees. Well, potential employees, I should say. 
A lot more nameless males and females. Put it that way. It's amazing how busy this, this street is right here. Nice little provincial town, wouldn't you know? With a lot of stuff that has to get built. Okay, the Fisher's Hut has been turned around. The one guy who was working there before should automatically work there again. Oh, yeah, there you go. He has an actual factual boat now. We've done it. Is he getting the work? No, that's not him. Where are you? I am preparing for work. All right, let's see it, Mail 139. It's going as fast as it can. They, they can only wobble so quickly, please. Don't worry about it. Why do we suddenly not have a tax collector? No, I want a tax collector. Oh, there you go. That looks a little bit more sensible. Wheat farm's done. Uh, now we're waiting on the wheat. There you go. We have an actual boat. All right, I guess I'm going to have to turn all of them around eventually now. All right. Put people in the wheat farm. One more coming up here in just a minute. Why is our gathering hut empty, too? Did people leave? I mean, I see that happiness is starting to go down again a little bit, but... I didn't think we were that far, that poorly off. All right, yeah, more wheat. More wheat, please. This is good. We still have a lot of room for farms, though, so we might actually... You know what? This one probably shouldn't be here. Let's put it farther back. Wheat farm. Like, here. And... Maybe one over here somewhere. You know? Maybe even one up here. There we go. Like that. There. Now we should get a lot more wheat. At least is what I'm thinking. So I guess I gotta turn these things around now. I guess I should should make sure I'm not destroying the ones that have fish in them. All right, Fisher huts. They have to face the correct way. There we go. And you know we'll just we'll just go ahead and actually just pile them in over here. Uh, you know what? I know what I said. I'm just going to dump it out anyway. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Now I just need to rebuild everything. Almost done with this bakery. Starting to think we could really use a new blacksmith, too. How are we doing on the mine? We got a lot of iron ore. So then the problem must be the smelting. We're not smelting enough to delt it. Okay, another bakery done. That's two more workers. Cool. Over here. We sell bread here, right? Yeah. Over here, we do not yet sell bread. We might keep it that way. I haven't decided yet. Although, if this farm goes off as well as I'm hoping it will, we're not going to have to sell any bread. Or, we're, what am I saying? We're going to mostly sell bread. The opposite of what I said is what I meant, as is tradition. Alright, so over here, we'll probably have a stockpile of 
berries, fish, wheat, and bread is what I'm thinking. Or not wheat, flour. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how we're going to do it. We have five people unemployed. Whoop. <laughs> Didn't mean to zoom in that much. All right, we're making bread over here. Beautiful. So that's already popping off. So we got plenty of iron produced. Like iron ore is not a problem. We got a lot of wood. And it's getting in here to turn get turned into coal. It's just not going it's not getting smelted fast enough. That's the problem. We need to speed up our smelting capabilities. Hello, Envoy. You know, uh, yeah, I, I could use the wine. I was gonna say, I don't really need this, but yeah, the, the wine. Could always use the wine. Another house is done. You're lucky I don't have another source of wine. Oh, cool. The warehouse is done. Alright, like I said, we're gonna do berries, fish, flour, bread in this warehouse. It is primarily for food. We could probably also use people to work it. There we go. Yeah, our fishmongering is going to go down for a little while, but that's okay. That's when you complain at the fish until they get into your fishing boat. It's not really, but... I don't know why I called it that. If that's not the case. Anyway, we're getting a lot of wood from up here. That's going to go away soon, so we do have to be a little bit careful. I am happy to say that our berries are looking okay. Our berry stockpile. 62, 63. Not complaining too much about that. Another house has been completed. See, I like the housing over here. Yeah. Yeah, get houses over here, my dudes. Let's see if I can get up to 200 people eventually. That's going to be the new short-term-ish goal. Yeah, our coal... I don't know. We could get more of it, I suppose. That's not the weaponsmith this is. Yeah, I guess we could get more coal. Uh, windmill. Cool. Do it. Congrats. I hope, uh... Oh, yeah, that, that's definitely going to be hitting the hitting the bakery. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it, though. It's going to be fine. Still can't do anything with these yet. Uh, copy room can't be done until another update. Well, then, be that way. Eventually, we need to build that monastery, too. We need glass for that, though. That's something I definitely don't have. And I'm... Gonna need a place to stockpile it if I want it. So I guess what we'll do is probably take one of these that are near the village center, the original center. And tell it to stop stockpiling glass so that we can buy it. That'll probably be the best angle to take there. Ooh, look at that. Well, we're already full of wheat, or flour. And we got small berry stockpiles going over here, too. So we don't sell bread here yet. That's going to have to change. But we're still waiting for the new market to go up so we can sell clothing here. Is clothing the only kind of common good available? I think it is right now. Yeah. Common clothes. The only thing. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
Soldiers are back from mission. That didn't take long. Which is good. I guess we could use the money. Apparently we just had a new week. And whenever the week starts, that's about five that's about a thousand gold right out of our Well more than that actually. Wait. Where did that other thousand go to? Oh, we bought glass! Cool! So now we have glass, we can actually build a monastery, right? Yeah, it only takes ten glass. So we do have the basic monastery available to start. And it's definitely going to want an apiary so that we can produce honey. And an herb garden so that we can produce herbs. And that will give us some luxury resources to start giving, giving out. There's even a couple of different types of herb gardens, apparently. Yep. And a couple of different types of apiaries. Cool! Very cool. We got 169 people. First of all, nice. Second of all, let me look at some of our citizens here. I wanted to see if I can pull out a citizen. Finding a lot of serfs. This one doesn't have enough faith built up. There's a citizen. Luxury. Okay, so she doesn't care what kind of luxury, as long as we get luxuries. In that case, the monastery is even more important. You want 20 fish? So do I. We're working on it. Another house going up over here? Oh, uh, yeah. Right. Is that two houses? I think it is. Uh, wait, is this a house being upgraded? Yes, it is. Wow, that's fast upgrade. That place started upgrading almost immediately after being built. It's actually kind of amazing. Alright. Well, trust me, no complaints here. You know, we could probably turn a couple of these dudes into builders, now that I think about it. Yeah, let's turn two of you into builders, just so we can get things done a little bit more quickly. Bread's starting to get stockpiled again. I like it. Another house is done. I like that, too. You know what else I would like? The uh, bakery getting done. Oh, but we need more tools. Of course we do. More people joining the village. Ugh. We have six iron bars. Okay, so we could make... We need those to get made into... I'm going to go fetch some resources. Okay. Okay, so she's going to go work on them now. There they are. Okay, so work is getting done at the blacksmith now. As you can see. Still might be better to buy some tools. <laughs> Although I am happy with the uh, fact that we've stockpiled some glass. You know what? Send one back for uh, tools again. And let's go ahead and buy some tools. It's not like we can't afford it. It's that I don't want to pay it. <laughs> That's the difference. It's okay. Once a lot of the construction projects are done, we should be able to do this far more easily. Hey, clothing can be sold here now. In fact, while it's doing that, let's go ahead and get a stall for bread. Let's put it right out here. Right behind there. That'll work. There you go. Very cool. Get a, cut, get some barrels beside it. Make sure to put a bench out here as well. Another coal hut's been done. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. There you go. Cool. Bakery's getting there. Alright, do we have... Did we get tools yet? We spent something. Yes, we have our 40 tools. 
Okay, now things should start getting done far more quickly for a little bit. Okay, coal hut was done. Good stall. We need to get someone working on clothing sales. And three on coal hut. Cool. We still have three left. That's awesome. All right. Expanding our builders, I think, did a lot there. God, we have a lot of houses down here. Holy cow. So now we're going to have a lot more coal. Which I think is going to be necessary. Wheat farm is done. Sweet. Fisher's hut. That's going to automatically get reassigned. I know this because there's already someone, technically someone who can work there. That's what I wanted. Okay, now we're now we're looking at like a little fisher village. Beautiful. It's kind of like an offshoot village from our main one anyway, isn't it? I mean, you know, if you take a look at it. This is our primary village. This is the religious quadrant. Or at least it will be once everything's done. Still have some floating gargoyles. Don't worry about it, though. And this is our... I want to say our more ag agrarian quadrant. Kind of. Another wheat farm is done. You don't have enough people to fill it yet. Oh, wow. Clothing's getting sold over here like crazy. Two more wheat farms have been done. Okay. Cool. I don't know how you're getting into this one, but it's done. Oh, there, there's how you're getting in. Okay. Just checking. Bakery. That's what I was waiting on. All right. Let's get you two who are unemployed into that bakery. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> perfect placement. I couldn't have done it better if I tried. Thankfully, I didn't try. All right, I just realized the sign for the bakeries over here. This is probably supposed to be the actual entrance. Whoops. Good timing for two more villagers. So waiting on the materials for the market. All right, now we got fishermen out here, fishing in a way that doesn't result in, you know, them walking on the water looking for fish. I'd call that a win-win. Probably need a small rustic church up here too. Just a small one, not like something amazing, but I'm thinking like. Oh well, wait. Yeah, I don't think the rust I don't think the um monastery does anything as far as religious services, so let's get a small church up here. You know? Something like this. We're not even we're gonna make it a little bit bigger, but not much. Put the door in here, like that. And then give it a tower. Because it has to have a bell tower. That's the rule. We'll give it a tower B. Put it like right here. Extend it up here. There you go. Has a capacity of 20. It's real small, but that's okay. It's allowed to be. Could even... Oh! Oh, God, that one, that door is extended up to heaven. You can't use that one. It's already gone. There you go. That looks all right. Ish. Cool. Just to make sure that we can get some religious... Relig religiosity. That's what I was trying to say. Coming on over here. Another house is done. What's this? Another house? Very cool. All the fisher huts are done. 
And they all have boats, even though two of them are crashing into each other. That's good. That's what I wanted. Right, now we need to start employing these other farms. But still, we should be getting our... Our fish market tree coming back up now. Lots of houses, man. Well, these ones are kind of cute. I don't hate it. Enjoy your woods while I leave it. While I'm still going to be okay leaving it there. With that said, that is going to be it for this episode of That Plays Foundation. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more because it's going to keep coming. It probably won't stop coming. It might, but it probably won't. Until I have at least built one of everything in this game so far. We'll see how that goes. Thanks again for watching this episode of That Plays Foundation. My name's Thet, and I will see you in the next video, my dudes.